Hey guys, it's the Return of Red Phoenix, and welcome back to Capsule Monster Coliseum. Now, in the last episode, I kind of introduced uh, the mechanics of the game, created our symbol, chose our uh, first uh, few monsters for Grandpa, and we defeated uh, Joey Wheeler in the Forgotten Capital. And now in this episode, we're going to face off against Tristan Taylor in the Condemned Warehouse. Let's take a look at the details here. The street is very narrow, so it is easy for your team to uh, bunch up. That's pretty much all the details that it um, leaves out. But there's a little bit more to this stage. In fact, it'll kind of restrict me on uh, which monsters that I'll be able to play. But I'll show you guys uh, that once we jump into the duel. Alright. Now even though Joey is uh, a more experienced duelist than uh, Tristan is, Joey was pretty much our uh, tutorial. Would I say that Tristan is better than Joey? Just judging this off of from the this game right here. Uh, I don't know, actually. I've never um, lost to uh, Tristan before. Like, I remember losing to Joey once, but that was when I literally first learned how to play the game, but whatever. Ta-da! It's me! The man, the legend, Tristan Taylor! Tristan, um, this could just be my personal opinion, but do you have a hairnet on you right now? Anyway. Yugi, I may not be as experienced as you when it comes to games, but if you take me lightly, I'm gonna make you pay. I know. That's why I'm going to use all my skills to defeat you. Hmm? No matter who my opponent is, I will use all my strength to defeat you. That is my proof as a true duelist. Oh. Um, maybe you don't need to use all your skills. Y you know, maybe just some. Please? Really didn't think that Yugi was going to say that, did you, Tristan? Nope. No matter who your opponent is, always fight to the best of your ability. Alright, cards are laid out on the table. I'll pick this one. Eh, just by one point, so I'll get to, get to the side who goes first, and obviously, I'm going to attack first. Alright, Tristan will lay him out. As you know, he's using a wood symbol. He's got two wood monsters and two thunder monsters. Alright. Now, um, if you guys remember, in the previous episode, two of our monsters uh, were destroyed, which are right here. Karibo and Right Leg of the Forbidden One. Now, there's a consequence if one of your monsters ends up, dis end up being destroyed in one of the duels. You can't use it for your next duel, which is this one. Cannot choose this monster since it was defeated in campaign mode. However, after this duel with uh, Tristan here, you'll be allowed to use those monsters again, so yeah. But if any monsters that get destroyed uh, this duel, I won't be able to use in the next duel, so... That part kind of sucks, but yeah, it just goes to show that you may want to be a little bit more uh, careful with your uh, selection of monsters and when you place them. Alright, so without further delay, let's choose our monsters. I think the majority of the monsters I'm going to choose are our thunder ones. And I'll explain why in just a few moments here. Um, hmm. Do I have enough for one more? Yeah, I'll get Karibo in there. So, like last time, our opponent only chose four monsters while we chose five. We're going to be doing the same thing here again. So I've got Karibo here, and I've got, yeah, the rest of them are our Thunder Monsters, with the exception of Gear Golem and Moving Fortress, but that just costs too many. Monster Points 300 was the max, and you can actually see um, the maximum AP that you'll get during this duel right here at the bottom. See, like, it looks like my symbol will start with uh, 150 AP, but the maximum we can get is uh, 300, so it's always something to keep in mind. You've got to take a look at the monster point value your monster has, as well as the AP uh, cost that your monster has. Alright, but I'm pretty content with the monsters we've chosen. Let's go. Now, unlike last time, there's aren't there aren't uh, many places for me to uh, position my uh, pieces here. It looks like just uh, up to nine zones. Oh well. Oh well. I'll just put my symbol right up here. Now, put. Let's see. The thing about diagonal moving pieces is, you know, they're restricted to what zones they can be on. So or spaces they can be on on the board, sorry. Um, so yeah, Karibu can go right there. Put the Steel Scorpions right here. Shovel Crusher... 
Shovel Crusher can go right here. And now, Kamenari Kozu. I know in the actual trading card game it's called Thunder Kid, because I don't really know the reason, but all I know for me personally, I can't really pronounce this one very well, so. Yeah, sure, I'll just put the, that one right there. Yep, we've positioned all our monsters. It's time to duel. Or as uh, Yami Yugi is about to say. It's time to start! That. I don't know, it just, just doesn't feel right when he says start. It's like, it, it's better when he says it's time to duel, but because, you know, it's iconic. All right, well, first of all, I will summon my two steel scorpions. Still looking pretty good on monster points at the moment. I'll summon Shovel Crusher, and then, yeah, just only hang on to 2 AP, which can't do diddly, so, yeah, end in my turn here. Now it's Tristan's move. What were the rules of this game again? <laughs> Don't you think that's something that you probably should have uh, figured out before you went up against Yugi? You know, king of games. Ah, Tristan, rest in peace. So he's got two of his wood monsters, which are petite mots, and he's got, you know, I'm just going to call him Thunder Kid, and a Steel Scorpion himself. Back to me. Here I go! Alright, let's go ahead and summon our other monsters, which... Thunder Kid. <laughs> and then... Karibo. And then that's all of them. Huh. Just hit the maximum of uh, 300 AP. Alright. Now, something I actually didn't mention is that you c your pieces can actually take uh, terrain damage in uh, this duel. So, across this uh, electrical uh, grid right here, yeah, any part where it says land form uh, 30 right there, that's actually dangerous for all other pieces except for Thunder Monsters. Thunder Monsters will be immune to damage uh, right here, but if any other attribute goes on that particular zone, they will take damage. And the same is applied for um, over here, where the landform is uh, wood. That's actually spores, so all monsters except wood would take damage if they cross that path. So, yeah, this isn't one of my, uh, this isn't particularly one of my most favorite boards. Yeah, I'm sorry, backtracking right here. But, it's fine. I guess I like it because it's, you know, it's one of the first ones that you do, so at least it'll be over quickly. Or at least hopefully it will be. All right, back to Tristan. Yep, naturally he's moving his uh, wood monsters to the place where everything except wood would take damage, and then thunder monsters to, you know, basically the thunder zone. Right. So my Karibo here is, of course, a dark monster, so he's not going to be really crossing uh, anything. Probably just going to, like, leave him on the edge, waiting for the petite moths to uh, get there. Right, move my essentially the Thunder King Bishop right here because he can only move diagonally and attack diagonally, which is yeah, really, really restricted right there. With all the AP that I've got, looks like I'm able to move every single one of my monsters with no problem. Same with my symbol if I really have to, but I don't really need to move them right now. Alright, back to Tristan. Moving petite moths. Back to me. Alright. So his monsters are starting to get pretty close, just looking at uh, where his uh, monster here can move. Okay, so if I move my shovel crusher here, then um, he's within range. Yeah, you can actually hit the start button to see, like, uh, the zones where you can move and the zones where you can't move. So if I was to move my monster... Yep, I can just move my monster right here. Steel Scorpion can go right there, they're safe. Doesn't look like that uh, my Thunder Kid is going to be safe from any of these attacks, so... Just move him uh, right there for now, though. Because if he does move his uh, Thunder Kid there, he'll be, um, yeah, I might be able to take the first attack in this duel. Alright, I'll just have Karipa sitting right there. He's probably gonna still 
be stationed there for pretty much most of the duel. But yeah, I think my Thunder Monsters are going to be doing the majority of the work here. Local tip mods, caterpillars just sliding down. Alright, now he's within range of my Shovel Crusher there. Alright. Yep, I can get my Thunder Kid to attack his. But first, you are going to experience what one of Shovel Crusher's famous hugs feels like. Ooh, this is going to be a one-shot kill right there. You know what? Yeah, let's have the battle animation on. Ah! Time out! Time out! Sorry, Tristan. There are no timeouts when Shovel Crusher is about to hug someone. Could I get a hug? Coming for you, Thunder Kid. And... You just got milked. You guys watch the Ugua Bridge series? You get it. One shot, one kill. Quite a bit of experience earned out right there. Ah! With that guy gone, things only look downhill from here. <laughs> Think um in capsule monsters, uh this particular monster, which was the same as the one we just destroyed. It's one of uh Trist the ones that Tristan I used uh quite a bit. It's been a while since I watched the Capsule Monsters series of Yu-Gi-Oh, so I don't know for sure, for sure, but Alright, um, he still has that Steel Scorpion right there, which I don't think can attack any of my monsters. And his Petite Moths are still pretty far away, so I think I think we're good for now. Back to you, Tristan. Man, I feel like an amateur in a world of champions! Meanwhile, that is kind of what's going on right now, isn't it, Tristan? I mean, do you know who else is in this tournament? <laughs> Aside from Yugi, pretty much all of his uh, past opponents, which have much more experience with these kind of games. Uh, Tristan, you need to uh, learn more. I'll use all my skills until the very end of the duel. Yugi told you he'd be using all his skills. Ooh, with my uh, Thunder Kick here, I can take out two of these monsters. Or at least, supposedly, I can. Let's see. Teat Moth won't instantly kill it. But I can instantly kill the Seal Scorpion, and yeah, let's take a look at his attack, because we haven't actually seen that yet. Yeah, Thunder Monsters are not really known for their defensive strength or their uh, power points, but they are really known for their attack. Yeah, you bump up their attack uh, stats with the power of your symbol, and they hit like trucks. Two monsters down, two more to go. Or maybe I'll aim for your symbol. Which part of Take It Easy do you not understand? Tristan, I don't think Yugi actually knows how to take it easy. Alright, move my Shovel Crusher ahead. He's probably going to backtrack with his, um, the Titmots right over there. Try and uh, defend his symbol, because I think that's ideally what we're aiming for, because if you manage to take out the symbol, get uh, massive experience points, so yeah, I think we're going to try and aim for that if we can. Alright, back to Tristan. Yeah, he's starting to uh, move his uh, potent mods uh, back over here. Back over to his symbol, I mean, sorry. Right, back to me. So... I mean, I could take out the um, Pitent Moth over there, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to move over here. Shovel Crusher will move one zone ahead of him. And, well, my Steel Scorpions are trailing behind because they can't uh, move as far as those two monsters. But... And hopefully I can uh, get through this duel without any of my monsters being destroyed, because then I'll have a full uh, set for my next duel. Alright, his petite monsters are starting to uh, catch up a bit. 
All right, let's see here. Could use my Steel Scorpion to uh, attack it. Yeah, it's not gonna one-shot it, but at least it'll get some uh, more experience, or at least a little bit to compensate. Almost all of it down. I'm in big, big trouble. That's the understatement of the century, Tristan. <laughs> all right. So I'm just gonna put my shovel crusher within range of this thing, and now, ooh, I can attack the symbol. Can I one-shot it? Not at the moment. So take a shot to the symbol right there. <laughs> yep. On my next turn, that symbol's gonna be history. Oh, this isn't looking good at all. Again, understatement. <laughs> all right my Steel Scorpion a little bit further up. I'll probably take out that Petit Moth and then go for the symbol. And Karibo is literally just chilling right there. <laughs> oh well. I wanted the Karibo to get some more experience and level up uh, quickly. Because I wanted to get its uh, special ability later down the line as uh, quick as possible. And I'll explain about uh, special abilities when they happen. All right. Back to me once again. Um, da -da -da, maybe I can use the Steel Scorpion too. Yeah, I'll just use it to finish off that bit moth right there. Even though I'll end up uh, destroying that, I don't think that the two moths is one of the monsters I'm going to be taking. Alright, so. Thunder Kid here already um, damaged the symbol, but now I'll have my Shovel Crusher. Deliver the final blow. Turn the battle animation on just for cinematic uh, experience. This will finish you! It's all over, Tristan. Shovel Crusher, do us all a favor and hug that symbol. Really, really tight. And just like that, it's all over. Zoom in, bam. We've won our Why second do you have duel, to aim guys. For my symbol? To win the game and to gain more experience? I don't know, it seems like a very fair reason to me. Alright, duel's over. And not a single one of our monsters destroyed, so I think we're pretty well. <sighs> I knew I didn't stand a chance against an expert like you, but it was a lot of fun. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Keep it up, Yugi. I'm counting on you to win it all. Thank you, Tristan. Always friends at the end of the day. Oh, take a look at this. After that, our Shovel Crusher has leveled up from 1 to 2. You can actually see here all the stats that increases. His AP and monster points remain the same. His attack is increasing. Um, yeah, AP plus uh, power points, uh, defense stays the same. The effect that it gets from uh, the symbol is increasing, and same with uh, the map as well. So, yeah, level them up. Your monsters can uh, reach a maximum uh, level of 9, and you definitely want it because essentially the more they level up, the stronger they get. And some might uh, give you some special, uh, have their own special abilities, which that'll come in handy, and I'll show them uh, more in action when we get there. Alright, clear bonus of. Total of uh, monster points, 218 in total. Pretty good. Alright, from destroying that symbol, got ourselves some more experience. None of our other uh, monsters are uh, leveled up yet, only Shovel Crusher, but, you know, everyone's gotta start somewhere. And I'm not gonna take uh, the Petit Moth, because, you know, it'd be handy to have a wood monster, but no, I'll just take these two Thunder ones, because I think we'll benefit a lot more by having them as part of our unit. Uh, you know what's really awkward? when you uh, have to save your progress, but it would be really awkward, of course, if I found out that I wasn't recording this episode the entire time. But hopefully I uh, hopefully I was, so I'm just going to trust my judgment here, save my progress, and if I wasn't recording, well then, I guess we're gonna have to skip an episode or I have to restart this whole thing over again, which would really suck. Then again, I suppose I can always create like a spare uh, account or something just in case something doesn't go through. But regardless, guys, that's two opponents down in area one and three more to go. So just so that we know for next time, who is our next opponent going to face? We face Joey, we face Tristan. Who's our next opponent going to be? Taya? 
No, actually, it's going to be the creator of Dungeon Dice Monsters and its champion, Duke Devlin. This will be uh, fairly uh, interesting. And also, I remember he was one of the first opponents that I actually lost to when I first played this game. So hopefully, at this stage, I've played the game uh, well enough to kind of know how to uh, counter um, his attacks. But we'll all see for sure on the next episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode where we face off against Duke Devlin. Phoenix out. <laughs>